We are here at Haven Little C for a weekend getaway. Yay. Let's do this. So, as Joe said, we are at Haven Little Sea, which is pretty much in Weymouth um, for the weekend. Um, we have decided for a little break, we'd book a caravan here at Haven and come away with the dogs. The pugs. The pugs. Hey, pugs. Look at the pugs. First caravan holiday for Peggy Boo. So, let's introduce them. Hi, girls. Do you want to be on camera? So this is Daphne. Say hi, Daph. Say hi. This is Peggy. Who's good girl. They are good girls. Sometimes. They're very excited at the moment. They're sniffing around a lot. Yes, they are. They're like, what's going on? Where are we? This one needs a drink, but she's being stubborn. She needs, yeah, her water is there. But her water is here. She does have a drink. She has her water. And... You might recognise this. This is a Disney princess dog bowl, which we got from Disneyland Paris. And that's what they have their water in. Isn't it, girls? Hey. And their toys. Yeah. And their toys. Some of these toys, yeah, are from... This is from Florida, if you remember. Or you might... Yeah, you would have seen that if you watched the vlogs. This was from Disneyland Paris, but his nose is gone. Oh, no. You know, this was from Target... Yeah, Nose sorry. is gone. Yeah, there we go. I chew, I chew. So, yeah. Um, we made it down here from um, Bristol, because that's where we're from, if you knew a few of you have asked. It took us about two hours um, straight down the A37, so it was pretty easy, really. Um, and this is the random thing. So this is March still, so by the time you're watching this, it's most probably going to be April time, because... We would have been doing the weekly vlogs from our Disney Walt Disney World trip. So for March, normally grey, wet, cold. However, I'll just have to show you outside. Look at the sky. It's clear, completely clear. And it's quite warm. It is warm. It's very, very nice. It's easily like 15, 16 degrees. Yeah. Which is nice. We've been very, very lucky and the weather is meant to be like this all weekend. So, you're, you are, are you just want to be on camera? No, she's sunbathing. Are you, are you in the sun? You like well, the sun? Well, no, we're half as You give me Paul? Can I have Paul? No, Paul. Oh, you good girl. Yeah. You good girl. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Just staring. Is it a staring contest? Is that what it is? And this one just, yeah, she's just sniffing. sniffing. So, yeah, so we are here for the weekend, Friday to the Monday. Um, we are staying in a deluxe caravan, which is now called a bronze caravan. So they've just recently changed the kind of the categories of their, their caravans. So it's technically a deluxe stroke bronze caravan it's a two bed um, and I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the caravan so you can kind of see what to expect um, if this is a dog friendly caravan um, so that's why we've been able to bring the pugs not all caravans can have dogs but the one that we're in you can so we get to take the pugs away and they're happy so let's do a little bit of a caravan tour so there's Joe this is the front room. Lounge. The lounge. Living this area. this is the living area. Whatever you want to call it, wherever you're from. Wherever you're from, it's lounge, living, living area. So you've got a little corner kind of seating area. That's quite nice. Yeah, little sunspot that she's found. She, yeah, she's she's loving that. Nice little bit of decor in the back. Curtains, little mirror just in case, you know. Um, nice kind of big windows which you can see right out so to give you an idea like literally I'm 
Chesil Beach, isn't it? Pretty much is is, directly, is, is direct, directly that way. So there isn't technically a beach here at Little Sea, um, but oh look, she's loving life, and she's playing with her Mickey. You got Mickey? Have you got Mickey? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, um, you have got TV with free view. So. Um, you can watch a bit of TV here. You've got some storage space. We have brought some board games. You might see us play those later. Um, we've got 3D Labyrinth and Cluedo, the Downton Abbey edition. So, yes, yeah, so you've got a little table here. So it's quite a nice big, big space. You can see we've managed to get like two... Oh, there's small dogs. She's got her toy. She's got a rabbit. they got their dog beds, you know. There, there's plenty of room. So it's, you know... A quite really good size I think what about you Daph what do you think no not interested Daphne's two now so she's getting into that stage where she likes to just chill whereas Peggy literally turned one a couple of weeks ago that and is still crazy still crazy so from the lounge you have a nice little dining area with these come out so you can see nice little kind of bench seating which is nice you can sit have your food look out the window very nice lovely curtains um, these are your central heating so the bronze deluxe caravans do have central heating which for the winter is a bonus so you can control all that which is good and then this comes into your kitchen area so again you have a microwave, toaster, kettle, you know, some mugs, more mugs. We have already kind of unpacked and loaded. So you can see we've got all the doggy little bits and bobs. So some fresh breath. Not that they've got bad breath, but it's always good for them. We do make their food up in advance. So we've got little pots for each of their meals, little treat things, try and avoid the girls from seeing this. Their dog bowls. Yes, I said the word treat. Mm -hmm. we want a treat? Do, do the girls want a treat? I'm I'm trying to tour the kitchen and, and, and you want well, food. You said that word. I did say the treat word. Yeah. <laughs> if you're good girls, you can have a treat. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so you've got some mugs there. That's nice. In here, again. Oh dear, this is the snack cupboard. snack cupboard. Most of that is all Joe's as well. But you've got your bowls, you've got some plates, you've got little egg cup holders. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. That's quite cool. Nice sink area. You've got your rubbish, you know, your cutlery, all those little bits. You yeah. have yeah. to bring your own wash up liquid. Plenty of storage. Like yeah, so this, you know, we brought all this with us because we knew that it's not provided. So you can buy it on site. Um, there is a site shop, which we'll show you later, but we just brought it with us. It's easier. You get a little pack here that has your uh, kind of keys in and some information. And you get this. This is the little customer care pack, which is quite cool because you do get some kind of antibacterial wipes um, and then you get some kind of bags that you have to put all your um, linen from your, your beds because that is provided so as part of again the deluxe bronze you do get linen all that on the beds you don't have to bring that unless you want to but you don't have to um, so nice little cooking area nice little funky splashback but yeah it's quite quite nice you've got like your grill your kind of oven area is it massive no but you know it's not a three bedroom house more storage more storage you could cook a christmas dinner not a 12 person christmas not a 12 person no you wouldn't fit 12 people in here so so yeah so there's quite a bit you know what we were surprised with um, is because normally with the deluxe bronze you get a fridge you don't get a fridge freezer however we walked in and we were like oh we do have a freezer. so we don't have anything to go in the freezer we didn't buy anything, we didn't buy anything because we didn't think we were getting one but we do have stuff in the fridge 
And I'm not being funny. It's it's not healthy stuff. So it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So yeah. So that is pretty much the lounge in the kitchen area. It's quite a nice size. This is where you kind of come in. By the way, this is the door. I'll show you the outside in a second. Um, but then let's go and have a little look at the bathrooms and the bedrooms. So that's the kitchen. And then you walk along here. First room you get to is the bathroom. Hi, mirror. That's a pug. That's another pug. But you have toilet, sink, running water. You have a shower. That's pretty good. Pretty spacious. No, you don't want a shower, girls? No? So yeah, that's quite a good size. Nice little radiator. So there is gas central heating in here. So that does mean it shouldn't go off too cold. Um, but yeah, that's the bathroom. Let's uh, have a look around the rooms. So this is the twin room, which I think is quite a good, good size. Little view outside there. You have a little mirror, a little place to put a few bits and bobs. Nice little cupboard there, wardrobe, with a few hangers, plenty of space. Again, another radiator, so if, again, if it gets... Do you want to go in there, do you? What is it? What is it? Is, it, is this your room? Well, that's weird. Normally we put the, like, the twin room like beds both sides. Yeah. But no, it's kind of like top and tail sort of thing. Uh, is that your bed, is it, Daph? Yeah, she's claiming that one. She's claiming that one. And where's everyone going? There we hey. go. What are we doing, girls? Hey, What are we doing? Okay, so Come that's on. the twin room. Let me shut the cupboard. I think it's quite a good size, actually. They're two little ones. Or when Joe annoys me, you can go in there. So, that's that. Oh. This is a little cupboard area. So you've got mop and bucket dustpan and brush and then there's you know obviously some information there and then this is the master bedroom <laughs> which I'm surprised at how big this is I was not expecting that so you've got a reasonable sized double bed bedside tables either side what do you think of this Peg you, you girls like this um, but yeah, you've got loads of room in here. Plenty of room. Nice mirror. A little kind of desk area, I suppose, if you need to do your hair and makeup. Why look at me? I'm just saying, you know. Little footstool. Here we go. Nice mirror there. Mirror there. Wardrobes. So you've got double wardrobe. We have some hangers and some drawers. Plenty of storage. Plenty of room, plenty of storage. Nice size room. You can hang your coats up there. You have your lights. Nice little bit of artwork on the back. Yeah, and you have a little view. I just can't get over the weather. Look how blue that sky looks. It's so, nice. <laughs> so deceiving. Right. Girls, are we happy with, with the room? Do we approve? Do we approve with the caravan for your holidays? Yeah, you don't care? You just, you're gonna go? Are you gonna, yeah? Oh, okay, bye then. So yeah, there you go. That's the caravan. I think this is perfect for, for us at least anyway. Um, you can get some proper swanky um, caravans, but we don't you... need swanky. We're swanky enough. We're swanky enough. I like that, Joseph. Joe is currently making the um, seating area more dog friendly the dog. by putting their blanket on there because they seem to have found this as their little spot, okay. literally because of the sun. Yeah, they're sun worshippers. They are sun worshippers, yeah, which ain't that. great because pugs, when they get hot, they overheat. They overheat they're breathing, you know, and these are black pugs, so they're not the normal fawn type pugs. These are full black pugs. So black 
tracks the sun, yeah, it, it gets hot. So, so they're going to go outside. So we did bring a crate with us. We did. So we just thought in advance that actually, at least we can keep the door. We can keep the door open if we want, and then the uh, the pugs have a little area where they can go out. Ideally, it would go on the grass, but it's not that big of a crate. So yeah. They're loving life. I'll quickly show you what the, the caravan looks like. I'll try not to kill myself climbing over the crate, but yeah, so there you go. There you have it. This is where the dogs now start to try and find a way of jumping over the crate, <laughs> Peggy more than likely. Suicidal. Yeah, so th there you have it. We are in West Acre 157. Is that right? Yeah. West Acre 157. I'll show you a view from the, from the front. So you can kind of see that you're recycling, which is great. You haven't got to walk too far when you leave. But yeah, so I can get over the sky. It's such, it's amazing. It, yeah, so there we have it. The, the, these two are just going mental now because we've we've left them, and they're in the cage, and we're out here, and they're like, no, I must be free. Like they don't like being in the cage. No, hello. Oh, hello, Peg. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah, come on then. You want to get out? Well, we'll get in and you can shut up. Do you want a treat? We did promise you a treat. You haven't had a treat. Come on then. Let's have a treat. So, yeah, so it's pretty. That's <laughs> Did you have a nice trip, Ryan? <laughs> I did have a nice trip. Um, so I just tripped up the step coming in. So there we go. First um, example of a fail. But we're just going to give the little pugs a, a little treat. Pull. Good girl. Pull. Good girl. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Good girl. Hey, bye. Good girl. Speak. That's not. Speak. Speak. Good girl. Up. Good girl. Up. Good girl. Good girls. They are very good dogs. We, yeah. we are we are very lucky. We are very lucky. I know you want another one. Have another one. Yeah. You don't need it. You have one treat. You're chunky already. Yes. Yes, you are. So yeah, so we're just gonna have a nice little chill out because obviously we've been driving down. Might have a little bite to eat and then we'll, we'll most probably have a little wander around, see what's about. Um, we are doing what they call the hideaway package, which is basically where you don't have access to like the entertainment um, area. So because we've got the dogs, we're not going to be going out on a night and leaving them. So we thought there was no point kind of paying for the, the entertainment passes to go in and watch the nighttime entertainment. So we won't be showing you any of that, but if that's something that appeals to you, then you obviously can purchase that when you're making your book in. This is what I'm having to deal with. <laughs> yeah. They love it. This is my life. So yeah, so there you go. That's all done. We have a bite to eat, and then we uh, we'll have a little walk around oh, yeah. the park. <laughs> it's a hard life. <laughs> what can we do? We'll see you in a bit. So we've had a bite to eat, had a nice little chill, and now we're going to head have a little walk around the site, see what there is to offer before it gets dark, because it is. 45 o'clock, so the sun's not going to be up for much longer. And we thought it was a good chance to take the doggies for a little walk. You want to go walkies? Yeah. Do, 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 you, do you want, do you want to, to go to the, the walkies? You want to do the walk? You want to do the walk? You want to go on the lead and the walk? Come on then. Oh, yeah. You go for the... Well, why? Go on, girls. Come on then. Right. Lead the way, Joseph. You live little walkies, don't you, Bubba's? Yeah, it. It's cool though. Yeah. I just can't get over how clear the sky is. Not one like, this isn't a filter. <laughs> one cloud. Yeah, it's 
You go to Wee Wee's? Good girl. All right, Peg, don't uh, let your sister go wee. Is that okay? Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes. Is that okay? Yes. So you walk down to the main bit and you got you can smell fish and chips. You got Papa John's, that's cool. They got a fish and chip place. Cooks, isn't it? Is it Cooks? Um, I thought I saw. And you got a little mini mart. Partnership with Nisa. So that's like co-op, isn't it? Basically. basically yeah. yeah, so West Acres, we're up here. That's the beach that way. That's the way you come in. And this is like your entertainment, your food, your shopping your swimming pool yeah so let's have a walk down here a little walk to the beach it's a crossing got to deal with the crossing girls okay along the crossing good girls so we're on a little dog playing field now you can't let the dogs off the leads though those are the rules is there anywhere where we're there and i don't um, not on site. So if they're on site, they have to be on lead. That's fine, isn't it, girls? Yeah, they're fine. They don't mind being on a lead. They do prefer being off so they can run and... But... They are okay. Oh, it's a bit, um, boggy here, mind. Yeah, so I'm worried about my trainers. Yeah, you're wearing white trainers. Yeah, I can see it. And it's a bit boggy. But yeah, that is how you get down. It's not a beach, but yeah. yeah. So I think this is called the Fleet Lagoon, if I read this right. Chesil Beach and the Fleet. Yeah found another little pathway which we're thinking we might be able to have a little walk up there with the dogs might not be so boggy see how it goes oh look at that hey what have you got hey what are you sniffing for what can you find Random hiccup. Hello, bag. Hello, bag. Hello, bag. Hello, bag. Hello, bag. Hello. Hello. What are you guys doing? Huh? What do you do? Come on then. Come on then. <laughs> they got their treats. You having your treats, girls? Yeah, we're going back into the park now. So this is quite cool because it's a public pathway. It's a coastal path. So it just means you can let your dogs off. So if they're in the park, you've got to have them on lead, but if you're here, you can run free, Peg! You can run free! Well, not, not for long. Not for long. Back on Daphne can run free! Daphne, come here. The one downside being there is the lots and lots and lots of rabbit droppings. Which they love. Which they love. Tasty treats. Tasty treats. It looks like kibble. Mm. Oh, that's it. Take Joe out. <laughs> right, let's uh, head back to the park. So you've got a little obstacle course. Five-a-side football. There's a park at the back as well. Loads of things to do. BMX. Yeah, 4x4, four four, off-road. Yeah. Yeah. Like these two are loving this. Having my best time. I don't know my holidays and there's loads of things to sniff. Bless them. So 
What's the mini market like? Do we have a little gander? Can you come in this way? Here we go. So we're back. Had a nice little walk. Okay, cool. The dogs are uh, waiting. Waiting because it's getting close to. Well, it is literally 5.57. 5.57, so 6 o'clock, they normally have their evening their evening meal. So they're um, being like, well, what, what's going on? What's going on? Um, but we did stop in the shops. Bought some air freshener, which wasn't too bad, £1.29. A lot of the other air fresheners that they had was a little bit more expensive because obviously they put the prices up because it's, you know, like the only kind of shop around. Got some toffees, not for me, as a gift. I got some sticks of rock, not for me, for a gift. Get the gifts done out of the way. And then for the doggies, got them some teddies. So we got, if you've been to Haven before, and I remember as a kid, this is Rory the Tiger. So you, if you were a kid and you come to Haven, you would join the Tiger Club and Rory was the mascot. So we've got Rory the Tiger and... Ella? It's an elephant, a pink elephant. Has she got a name? She might have a name. See that. So this, this is Anxious. She's Anxious the Elephant. Um, so can you guess who these are for? Not Joe, that, if that was your first thought. These are for the pugs! Yeah! And they're already loading. Look at this one. This is Peggy. She's like, hold on, is this for me? Daphne can hear Joe eating stuff. But it's like, do you, you want the teddy? Do you want Rory? Who wants Rory? And who wants anxious? Huh? Oh. Oh, 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 do you like Rory? And you fall off. Do you like Rory? Oh, oh, hi. Hi, Daphne. Hi. Hi, How Peggy. Much, how much were they? Um, they were seven ninety nine each. So £16 to be tore up. Yeah, but it's on their holidays. And they can't have it. They've got little beads in there, but they can have them. Just have to watch them. So yeah. So these little ones are hungry. Starving. You want your food? Yes, please. Oh. So Daphne's, Peggy's. They are pretty much the same food. They both have Lily's Kitchen organic chicken. We've recently moved um, Peggy on from the puppy, Lily's Kitchen, so she's on to that. Um, yeah, and inside these we do give them um, these little things. These are called Glandex, because, um, to put it bluntly... They leak. <laughs> they, the pugs are known for leakage from their butts, so th this helps them, helps with their anal glands. I can't believe you just said the word anal glands on the camera. Hey. The dogs have anal glands. Right. And wow, we're fucking hungry. Oh, he's hungry. Wait, wait. Wait. These are good they are. Wait. Wait. So they won't go until we tell them to. Oh. Even so though... She's frothing from the mouth. She's that excited. So There's special words that we say to them, and then they they eat. And they snore. And they yeah. Go on. There we go. <laughs> They're good girls. And this won't take them that long to eat. They will devour that in um in a few seconds. But yeah, so yeah, so while well, they're eating, we need to decide what we're, we decide we're, what we're having. We have got some pizzas that we brought down with us. Um, so you think we might just throw them in for tonight and then see what um, the food's like on site. 
tomorrow and Sunday. So exciting. I've really enjoyed so far. I mean, it's, we've only been here, what, four hours, just under. Just chill, isn't it? But it's nice. The caravan's nice. The site's nice. The weather is perfect for this time of year, considering. Dogs are having the time of their lives. Um, yeah, I just want to sit down for a bit, have a drink, and watch some TV. So we'll catch up with you guys. In a bit. In a bit. So we've just cooked some pizzas. Nothing special. We've got another one in the oven. So, special. Just some cheese and tomato pizzas. Another one's in the oven. Joe's topping up the coke. We're watching Bridgington. Bridgington. Well, the second Bridgerton. series comes out next week. So we're playing catch up. Yeah. We have watched it before, but we thought let's refresh. Let's refresh and eat some pizza. And some sausages. And whatever other snacky bits we've got in the um. Okay, we're just gonna put the the light on. Putting the light on. It's a lovely view outside. The sunset is amazing. Like, the sky is so red. It is very, very nice. I'll show you now. If you can see, I don't know. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's lovely. Look at that. Look, lovely. Yeah, there is a bit of a reflection. I'll, uh... There you go. Look at the sunset. Isn't it nice? It's so nice. It's lovely. Yeah, there's the other Daphne here, you know, with the prints and all. And these two are like, oh, what do I get? Do I get anything to eat? No, could you've eaten. So yeah, so, oh look, Joe's got some little cocktail <laughs> sausages as well. There's always something else he's got to have, isn't it, eh? Oh, yeah. So it's nice to, you know, have a little snacky poos. Um, Basically like a buffet. It's a bit like a buffet, yeah. <laughs> and I'm wearing mayonnaise. And now he's got mayonnaise down him. But hey. Right, Daph. You need to go on your bed beds. Because you're not getting any. Okay? Oh, got his mayo. That's not nice about cheap pizza. Yeah, it's cheap, cheerful and easy, isn't it? I don't know, it is nice. Yeah, so yeah, I'm going to eat and we'll... Uh, See you after. So, we've had a nice little chilled evening. Uh, watched a few episodes of Bridgerton. Watched some Family Guy. We watched some... Shower. Joe had a shower. It was great. Um, we were quite cheeky because you get free view here. Um, but we uh, brought our Apple TV along with us so it allowed us to watch um, YouTube and all that sort of thing. Um, you don't get Wi-Fi in the caravan so we've had to stream off our phones. But... It's worked and it means it's like being at home. Um, it's now 20 past 10. We are going to take the dogs out for just a very quick walk so they can do their business. Um, and then we'll call it a night. But we thought, hey, we haven't checked in for a while. Hey, Peg. You want to go for a walk? You want to go for the walkways? Yeah. On the lead? They do love their walks. Yeah, you can see that they've um, been playing with their toys. <laughs> they have been playing. We'll go for a Wawa's. Where is their lead? Here it is. Quite home from home. Mm -hmm. Any girls? Yeah. This is where Peggy gets like super excited. I want to go for the walk. And she turns into a bit of an idiot though as well. Yeah. She just jumps away like a yeah. Yeah, Come here. Come on then. Stay there. Stay. Wrong way round, Joe. Huh? Wrong way round. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, don't bite it. Don't bite your harness. Here you go. Good girl. Good girl. He's a good girl. A popper. Oh, stay there. What about you, Dad? You gonna have your your lead Don't on? Don't see what the hell's going on. So I don't want to go out. I want to go to bed. <laughs> In you go. There's a good girl. Good girl, Bubbles. This is where they can sometimes have a little 
Whatever. Play fight, yeah. There we go. Here we go. Someone's going around and around in circles. Who knows? Right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on in, girlies. Out we go. We're not going to vlog on this because it's dark. It's going to be dark, so I we'll see you uh, poop bags. <laughs> there out there by the microwave. Okay, move on. Trusty poop bags. And trusty treats. <laughs>